Ladies and gentlemen, this is Arif Malik. I'm Executive Director, World Congress of Overseas Pakistanis. I welcome you to tonight's farewell dinner, arranged in the honor of His Excellency Sayyid Ibn Abbas, the High Commissioner of Pakistan to the United Kingdom. This is a very special occasion. Most of you, most of you are invited to this dinner. You're representing different organizations, different societies, different institutions, and different, well, ethnicity definitely from Pakistani, but different cities from the diaspora, from the north, from Wales, from Scotland. We welcome you all to this auspicious evening. Tonight is a memorable occasion for many reasons. We are saying goodbye to one of the most loved and respected High Commissioner of Pakistan to the United Kingdom. So today we are going to do something. We are going to be very proud of our High Commissioner. We are going to be very proud of them that they will be very safe and that they will be very safe. And we are going to say something today that وہ یہ جس روشنی ہے یہ خوشبو کو ساتھ لے کے جائیں جب وہ یہاں سے پاکستان واپس جاتے ہیں تقریب کا بازابتہ آغاز کرتے ہوئے میں اپنے ممبر بورڈ آف گورنرز بیریسٹر گول نواز خان صاحب کو بلاؤں گا فار ریسٹیشن آف دا ہولی قرآن بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قل عوض بی رب الناس مالک الناس إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس. I'll be requesting uh, our like main host tonight, our chairman, Sayyid Kamar Raza, who is uh, the founder, chairman uh, of World Congress of Overseas Pakistanis, <laughs> to welcome you all to this evening. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Honorable Excellency, High Commissioner of Pakistan, Jinnah Sayyid Ibn Abbas. Honorable Dr. Sajjad Adar Kareem, Member of the European Parliament. Honorable Zameer Chaudhary, Chief Executive, Bestwick Group, and Chairman, Conservative Friends of Pakistan. Um, Member of Parliament from Wales, Jinnah Baskar Sahib. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum and very good evening. I heartily welcome you today to this farewell dinner when we, with a very heavy heart, saying goodbye to our Honorable His Excellency Sayyid Ibn Abbas, the High Commissioner of Pakistan. This, fair di this farewell dinner is very exclusive in its nature. It is probably the most representative interaction with diaspora with prominent leaders from dozen of most prominent organizations gathered to express their respect for the outgoing High Commissioner of Pakistan to the United Kingdom. His Excellency Sayyid Ibn Abbas has been always very kind to World Congress of Overseas Pakistanis he has been present in almost every prominent event and project led by W Corp, and we cannot thank, thank him enough. His Excellency witnessed our grand, groundbreaking initiative with Deputy Prime Minister Nick Legg, the Prime Minister Theresa May, the Home Secretary Sajid Javed, the General Secretary Commonwealth Banner Scott, and so many other leaders, including Archbishop of Canterbury. If every Pakistani outside the country is an ambassador of Pakistan in terms of conduct and character, 
then Sayyid Ibn Abbas and other senior officials of the Foreign Service of Pakistan are its Commander-in-Chief. We have all the respect and honor for them to represent Pakistan through thick and thin, in good time and bad times, in the trail and victory. Today, when His Excellency delivered his keynote speech, I request him to express his thoughts, feedback without any restraints on WCOP, the British Pakistani diaspora, and how he advises the diaspora to play their effective role in the UK for Pakistan and UK. There are many reasons to be thankful for His Excellency Sayyid Ibn Abbas leadership and vision. I cannot count all of reasons in this short time, but I would mention a few of most prominent ones. <clears throat> I'm thankful to His Excellency for making the Pakistan High Commission a place of vibrant interaction, for opening the doors and removing the gatekeepers. I particularly salute High Commissioner for open house celebration on Eid Day that has become the most coveted place to celebrate Eid in the UK. This is legacy you are leaving for your successor and hopefully this will keep living and remind us of your presence in the UK. I'm also thankful to Your Excellency for once again restoring our faith that the Foreign Service of Pakistan produces the best lot of officers and career diplomats whose presence turn around the relationship landscapes compared to parachuters and political appointees. I'm thankful to His Excellency for listening to the diaspora, for improving the two-way communications, for upgrading the IT facilities, website, responding to the feedback in regards to the most presenting needs and emergencies. I'm thankful to His Excellency for going all out last year to celebrate 70 years of freedom through partnership and joining collaborations and with various leading organizations like Bestway Group and leading strings of activities to mark the 70th anniversaries. Millions were inspired by the colorful buses depicting the best and colorful face of Pakistan on the street of London. You will be seeing a short documentary on the most extraordinary series of projects and events. WCOP also joined in by celebrating the 70th years of relations between British and Pakistani armed forces at Royal Military Academy, Sandhurst. Few of you would be presenting the colorful catalog as souvenir that shall keep on reminding us of the extraordinary initiatives led by His Excellency Sayyid Ibn Abbas and his proud comrades at the High Commission of Pakistan. I'm thankful to His Excellency for solidifying the cordial relationship between Pakistan and the UK. He faced many challenges, the snap elections, the Brexit, the political hot waters. However, nothing could mar the spirit of relationship between the both countries. His Excellency Sayyid Ibn Abbas is leaving an extraordinary model to emulate. The accessibility, the interaction, the encouragement, the pat of the back, and consolation his shoes will be being big for his predecessor to fill and walk with the dignity and pride. Your applause will validate my statement that he is, he has been the most popular, effective High Commissioner of Pakistan. <laughs> my WCOP board and members 
best wishes stays with His Excellency and his family for the years to come. With these words, I'm grateful to all of you. You spare your time and uh, give honor to this uh, gathering. God bless Pakistan. God bless UK. हम जितनी भी तारीफें करें वो कम हैं क्योंकि हम इतने खुश नसीब हैं कि हमें इतने अच्छे हाई कमिश्नर मिले एंड ही वर्क सो हार्ड टू क्रिएट सो मच गुड विल बिटवीन द ब्रिटिश पाकिस्तानी डायस्पोरा एंड द ब्रिटिश कम्युनिटी एंड द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट आई थिंक ही वर्क बियॉन्ड वॉट वॉज रिक्वायर्ड टू क्रिएट दैट गुड विल एंड वायल पीपल इन पाकिस्तान try to create or do work development work to improve the image of pakistan there he promoted it here in europe and he was the face of pakistan a face of proud pakistan in the uk we thank you i would like to now call upon another amazing person who has played his role beyond what was required of him the first european and british born muslim to be elected to the european parliament dr sajad kareem is amongst us we are all so very proud of the work that he has done he was the first chairman of w corp which is a added honor for all w corp members here and he worked uh, so hard to create relationships between europe and pakistan so the trade negotiation in 2005 dr sajad founded the european parliament's friends of pakistan group and it is through their hard work that the decision to grant pakistan the gsp status which has increased significantly pakistan's exports to the eu we thank you for those efforts his years of hard work were then paid off by him getting the sitara e qaid e azam from the president of pakistan please may i call upon dr sajad kareem our mep for northwest england bismillahir rahmanir rahim actually after that far too kind an introduction i'm looking forward to hearing what i have to say your excellency high commissioner sayed ibn abbas but above all my brother babi sayed kamar raza askar bai assembly member from wales zamir choudhry distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen good evening and assalamu alaikum the fact that we have the great and good here in attendance at such an illustrious event really bears testament to one thing above all and that is the tremendous place in our hearts that sayed ibn abbas bai has genuinely made through his efforts his attainments and above all his genuine love for the british pakistani community and we thank you for that the world congress of overseas pakistanis is an incredibly valuable platform and i see i'm very pleased to see that since i gave up the reins it has gone from strength to strength in the hands of sayed kamar raza my dear brother and his entire team who are present here today please kindly acknowledge their efforts i do not intend to speak at any great length this evening but equally it would be remiss if i was not just to make some remarks about my experience of working with the current high commissioner we in the northwest of england which is my constituency used to feel really quite neglected for many years 
And the biggest thing that we experienced after Ibn Abbas Bayi came to London and took up this particular office was a real change in the outreach work that started to take place. And we are going to tremendously miss him. But we hope that along with all of the other work that you have done, that particular custom that you have established of reaching out from London right to the most furthest of communities in the smallest of areas with the deepest penetration possible, that that is something that will be your legacy and will continue. I don't get much of an opportunity to come to London, but what I do have is an opportunity that whenever I'm in London, at least normally once in a month, I come across parliamentarians. And each and every one of them, of course, is aware of my connection with Pakistan as a member of the British Pakistani community. And through those networks, I am able to receive feedback. And I can say in very clear terms and actually give testament that the third party endorsements that I have received about the work of the High Commission and the way in which this particular High Commissioner has reached out to parliamentarians is really noteworthy at the very least, but actually I say it goes further than that. It is going to leave a lasting impression in the minds of all of those parliamentarians and it is going to influence their decision making in relation to British Pakistani relations for many, many years to come. And I thank you for that. And I'm going to finish now simply by uh, saying this, that uh, Ibn Abbas Bay, there is, um, you've been tremendously kind to me over the years that you've been here. You have even given me guidance when I have sought it. And as an accomplished diplomat of such senior standing, that is something that I greatly value. But there is one thing that you promised me but you have not delivered on. And that is that you would come to Manchester at my invitation. And therefore, now in front of all of these witnesses, I'm going to bind you to it. Just do me one favor, don't bring them all with you when you come. <laughs> Even though I would be delighted if they were to accompany you. I thank you sincerely on behalf of the entire British Pakistani community from all parts of the United Kingdom. Thank you. The next guest who I'm going to call upon. I must say that Muhammad Askar, also lovingly known as Oscar, is an avid supporter and member of the Commonwealth Parliamentary Association. And he has broken ceilings in his own way. He's the Shadow Minister for Skills on the Public Accounts Committee, Children and Young People Committee, member of the All Faith Committee. Is there anything that he does not do? Can we please call upon Muhammad Askar? Assalamualaikum, ladies and gentlemen, and my most distinguished guests, Sayyid Ibn Abbas, High Commissioner of Pakistan, and I'm privileged to say a few words, but I don't know how to find them because Sayyid Kamar and Sajjad Kareem, brothers have already spoken, which I think my words probably be like <laughs> putting light toward the sun. What Mr. Ibn Abbas has done to this country I think on 4th of February 19, sorry, 2016, when he arrived, we all know Pakistan is going through a different phase since. And his involvement, which I follow on Twitter and Facebook and social media, I, I haven't been privileged to meet him many times, but he is the only ambassador after 35 years who visited Wales on my request. <laughs> And 
Now, just a few minutes ago when I met him, he said he has already appointed one of uh, Honorary Consul General of Pakistan in Wales after a long, long time. So he is not only a po polished and very, very smart, intelligent, and one of the best diplomat in our diplomatic corps in Pakistan. He has worked from Auckland to California and Sorek and Europe, Europe and London and everywhere. But he also is one but we must never forget, only last year Pakistani won the World Cup in 2020s. And his input to Pakistan to promote Pakistan in UK, I think we cannot measure with the words. So no matter wherever he goes, person like him is not only an asset of Pakistan, they are Pakistan. And what I feel, that his presence among us, we should be all very proud of it that he is one of those of our sons of Pakistan, where we all are, you all are, we all are ambassadors of Pakistan. But wherever we live, we must abide by the local rules, regulations, and laws. And he preaches that. And with that sort of affiliation with Pakistan, he has converted a lot of people when he came to Wales and convinced them that not only look toward Pakistan, but you also look toward Britain also. So his message was taken very nicely, and I'm very proud of him to see him as our ambassador. His Excellency, you are leaving this country, but you're not leaving from our heart. You're not going from there. You'll stay with us. <laughs> you, you and your family, whenever you like to come, our doors are open in Great Britain for you. And with very short word, and from all of you, from bottom of my heart, Many congratulations to WCOP because this type of organization not only keeping us together but also giving messages across through media and all other means. So please, my word to this great man is that keep on working for Pakistan. That's a great country and we are very proud of you and God bless you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Asghar Bhai. You have said in English that the poet has written a manzoom, a translation. And he says, Who goes to the heart of the heart? Who goes to the heart of the heart? There is no way to go to the other side of the heart. So, for Sayyid Ibn Abbas, who has been thinking about this, this is the share of the translation. We would be quickly running a three years summary. And um, uh, our very own Dr. Sohel Chukhtai, who is wearing two hats. Dr. Sohel Chukhtai is representing definitely World Congress of Overseas Pakistan. He's being the president of WCOP UK. But he's also representing uh, Pakistan's uh, largest professional organization, which is APPS, this Association of Pakistani Physicians and Surgeons. So he'll be. Uh, sharing some uh, quick review of the High Commissioner's uh, stay in the United Kingdom, uh, which is video-based, and uh, sharing his um, uh, kind words. So it was your big round of applause, Dr. Sohel Chukfai. Thank you, Arif. Uh, normally, speeches are prepared with some points written, but I thought uh, it's from heart. Writing will dilute it, will impure it. So I just want to talk to you, and I want to say something that, High Commissioner Saab, you have rewritten the manual of a High, high Commissioner. Everything I say will, will be eclipsed by what has been said before by very able Sajad Kareem. Uh, I actually am very inspired by your speeches as well, so I keep learning from yourself. I can't actually, can't beat what you said, but I feel that I have seen you sitting on floor in mosques saying words of condolence to people who were crying. I have seen you stand upright to the highest stake in the country and represent Pakistan in a very proud way. You made me proud. You made my children proud. And I have seen you save the interest of Pakistan's image at a very critical point 
You know, there, there were points when the relationship between two countries were kind of dwindling. But you stood as a great example of an, as a great ambassador. And I call you people's ambassador. You may be appointed by the government of Pakistan, but we appoint you ambassador from the heart. And, and I said that because my wife just brought a card from my daughter, Uma. And I never said that you do anything like this, but she wrote something as if she was writing to a family member. How could a girl, a young girl, feel that High Commission was part of her family? That is what you've done, High Commissioner Saab. You created that atmosphere that people feel that you are one of us. And Huma writes, Dear Sayyid Ibn Abbas Sahib, I'll talk, talk, talk to her about the protocol later. She said that it has been wonderful having you with us all. Thank you for being a great leader, a great inspiration, and thank you for spreading the goodness to us all, the kids of Chuktai family. And that's what you've brought to us. I mean, I remember the time when Sajjad Kareem Sahib invited you to Manchester in October 2014, in your first month. And I just sent a request through to the office that please come, there's a doctor's function in, Man in London as well. And you may have annoyed Sajjad Kareem Sahib to leave his meeting to come down to London and attend our function in Manchester, in London. And that's when I, s I felt that we are dealing with different person. A person who would respect the feelings of diaspora. So you have actually rewritten a new chapter. I don't know how someone will follow this, how you've sent, set a new benchmark, High Commissioner Saab. Uh, I think uh, there is nothing which can cover your tenure, but um, maybe I can show a little video recap of what TV Apex has covered you for WCOP and other organizations. If that clip can be rolled on, please. United, your voice will be heard and you inshallah will get your right place in the society here and wherever you are. It is my hope and desire that our youngsters will seriously consider joining the Blue Young Force. Pakistan is a modern and moderate country and we are progressing very fast.
With this, I think we must not forget that the person, the, the person who gives strength to High Commissioner who carry out all these responsibilities, we cannot forget the role of Mrs. Ibn Abbas, Salif Ibn Abbas. A big hand for her as well. Or jaane se pehle, stage se jaane se pehle, aap yahan se ja rahe hain, lekin aap yahan bahut kuch chhod ke ja rahe hain. Aur aapke liye choti si dua hai, jo mere father ki ek ghazal hai, usme se do alfaz hain. कि जिंदगी का निसाब बाकी है, जिंदगी का निसाब बाकी है, अभी तो सारी किताब बाकी है। मेरे आसाब थक गए तो क्या? मेरे आसाब थक गए तो क्या? मेरी आँखों में ताब बाकी है। उठ गए आगही के सब पर्दे, उठ गए आगही के सब पर्दे, बस आखरी एक हिजाब बाकी है। थैंक यू। Thank you very much. Our very dear friend, um, you just uh, witnessed the uh, then Home Secretary and the, now the Prime Minister, uh, Theresa May, at the WCOP event, World Congress of Overseas Pakistanis event. Um, she was the one actually who, um, uh, who teamed up with us to actually bring her there. Uh, Judith Diamond is uh, representing Rotary International uh, in the Commonwealth as a Commonwealth representative. She has worked massively for Pakistan uh, she has traveled Pakistan uh, in the last year, and she witnessed the, the magic what Pakistan is. Uh, she is our very dear partner, and I would invite her to say uh, some brief words on the High Commission of Pakistan. <laughs> Judith Damant. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, it really is a great privilege and honor to be here this evening, but also tinged with sadness. And I would like to say on behalf of Rotary International and particularly the Rotarians in Britain, a sincere thank you for the support and warmth and friendship that you've offered during your du uh, duration in London. Um, as the chairman said earlier, you've had an open door and I've certainly experienced that and I'm most grateful to you. You've given us really wonderful support and I regard you as a, a good friend and uh, Madam Abbas. Abbas. Um, it's really uh, been a privilege to attend many World Congress of Overseas Pakistani events. We've seen some on the um, video that we just saw. And I've certainly benefited from your very wise counsel in regard to the work that I do both with the Commonwealth, but also as chairman of the Advocacy Task Force for Polio Eradication. And I would like to um, give you our very best wishes for the future and also to um, commit that we will work as hard as we can with our colleagues in Pakistan to get a polio-free Pakistan. I've been living here for the last 40 years. That 40 years, I never come across to a high commissioner like you. Your Excellency, whenever we need you, we, whenever we call you, you are there. Uh, Zameer Chaudhry uh, from, from the Bassway Group to actually uh, share his kind words. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. Um, it's a great privilege, unexpected that I, that I'll be speaking. I'm not much, uh, much of a speaker, uh, but I think, as everyone has said, uh, both Begum and High Commissioner have done a tremendous job for the Pakistani community in representing us. And as you can see from the gathering and all the speakers who have spoken before me, that you've had an impact on the hearts and the minds of the people. And um, everybody appreciates all that you've done up and down the country, not just in London, and uh, everybody is, you know, well wisher for you and your entire family and for your uh, future uh, career and endeavors. Uh, obviously, everybody is sad to lose you, uh, and um, they all want you to stay here, and so do I, but uh, life must move on. And uh, so my very best wishes to you, and thank you for everything that you've done 
for the Pakistani community, for Pakistan, and for all of us individually as well. Thank you. We have a very exclusive presence from Gabriella Krimi. Gabriella is actually, yes please, you're most welcome to, to come over. She is um, a student at the Oxford University and she is sharing some very special thoughts in a very special language. Assalamu alaikum, your Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen. Mir naam Gabriela hai aur main Oxford University se hu. Main bahut shukar guzar hu ki main yahan hu aaj. Hame bahut khushi hui ki Oxford students had the pleasure of meeting His Excellency, the High Commissioner, when he came to Oxford last month. All of us students were inspired by the work he has done during his leadership to promote UK-Pakistani relations. His support of this community has enabled greater dialogue amongst the strong diaspora. As future leaders, his dedication to this community, especially youth, reminds us that we are stronger Kesat. Social and political challenges, both Yaha in our home in Pakistan and global challenges of development cannot be overcome without us coming together to use our collective strengths and most importantly, volunteering our time. That is why my colleague, colleagues from Oxford, we've come together to found this new initiative, the Oxford Pakistan Policy Network Open. We're delighted to be working with WCOP, Bahal Shukriya. And throughout our work, we will remember the legacy of you, Your Excellency. We wish you all the best in your future endeavors, inshallah. Bahal Shukriya. Gabriela ne Urdu sikhi hai aur Urdu bade shock se bolni hai. Is liye that was very special. Uh, thank you very much, Gabriela and Open uh, friends from the Oxford University. I'll be requesting now uh, another very dear friend. Uh, we are working very closely with the Royal Military Academy, with the British Ministry of Defence, and this friend of ours is actually um, an ex-soldier, a former soldier, uh, and an MBE. I'll be requesting Colonel, the former Colonel, Andy Not MBE to share a few quick words. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency. Um, <clears throat> I didn't know I was speaking tonight, so it better be a good one. Um, I've been, had the great honor, actually, to be invited to share in the Pakistani community on many, many occasions. And the High Commissioner has always acted with great generosity. As an ex-military man, um, he calls me Colonel, and he drops the retired, so I thank you very much for that. And it feels like I'm back in my battalion. Uh, my battalion was Gurkha, so I speak some Nepalese, so I understand a little bit of Urdu. And I've served in Pakistan as well, um, as a liaison officer to the Pakistan Army, and that was fantastic. I think, as a military officer, I look for a few things in a leader and that is consistency, strength of character, and generosity of spirit, and also someone that can have a good time. Sir, you've had all of those things. You're very highly respected, and I will miss you personally. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we, are, we are almost finishing our uh, quick um, expression of emotions. In this lineup, I uh, have uh, a very special friend. Uh, he's actually, we are, we are very proud of him. He's the first Pakistani, first actually non-white non face uh, in the last couple of hundred years who became uh, the president of King's College Union. Once again, uh, the High Commissioner has been very popular among, 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 the, among the veterans, among the soldiers, among, among um, our uh, various societies, and among the youth as well, as Gabriella mentioned. So, uh, Momin Saqib, he's the first ever uh, Pakistani or non-white <laughs> president of King's College Union. He wants to uh, share some special thoughts on it. Thank you very much. Well, this is unexpected, but what an honor. Um, thank you very much for having me here, and thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to say something about His Excellency Sayyid Ibn Abbas. Um, Sayyid Ibn Abbas is an exceptional human being, I think, who has championed his way on bringing the Pakistani community in the UK together. 
the way students are now connected, students all over the UK are now connected and engaged with the High Commission is something that has to be appreciated and he has to be given the credit for it. Because the students of today, because, because the students of today are the leaders of tomorrow and this is something he appreciates and he has given us the confidence to organize more and more events to bring the Pakistani community together to promote the Pakistani culture and to promote a positive narrative of Pakistan. Uh, we'll be requesting uh, the Deputy High Commissioner uh, Zaid Afiz Chaudhry Saab to, to come over and share what actually his um, of colleagues uh, and, and what you think about the Commission. Assalamu alaikum and a very good evening to you all. And I wasn't expecting a speech either. But, <laughs> but all what's been said about His Excellency Sayyid Ibn Abbas has reconfirmed my view that he is one of the best that the Foreign Service of Pakistan has produced. <laughs> he was a textbook ambassador or high commissioner. He was an absolutely honest interlocutor. He was very well respected by all the people that he worked with, and he was loved by the colleagues, junior who worked under him. He is supposed to write my performance evaluation, and now I have the opportunity <laughs> to, <laughs> to level the scores. But it was, it was an absolute pleasure working with uh, Sayyid Ibn Abbas Sahib. I thoroughly enjoyed working with him and I've known him now for almost 25 years, and that is the length of time that I have been in this service. But one thing that I have also observed this evening, that if you love the community, you, get it, you will get it back by the community. And before returning, they'll multiply it with infinity. Thank you so very much. Your Excellency Sayyid Anibas Saab, Zameer Chaudhary Saab, Chairman WC Corp, Kamar Raza Saab, Askar Saab, Welsh Assembly Member. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu Alaikum. You have heard the stories that you have listened to the big ones. Now, listen to the small ones that are our level of grassroots. I... تیرہ سال کی عمر میں اس ملک میں آیا نانٹین سکسٹی فائیو میں میرے چچا اور میرے والد یہاں پہ رہتے تھے نانٹین سکسٹی فائیو میں ویملے ارینہ میں بولو برادران جو ہے وہ تشریف لائے اس وقت ویملے ارینہ میں جو ہائی کمیشنر آئے تھے ان کا نام ایس کے دیلوی صاحب تھا ایس کے دیلوی صاحب سے لے کے سید عمر عباس تک ہم نے ہر ڈپلومیٹ کے ساتھ کام کیا ہے میرے چچا نے اور ہم نے سر ملی اللہ جی صاحبہ سیٹ اے بینچ مارک اور آپ نے آپ نے ایک ایسا بینچ مارک قائم کیا ہے میں نے جب کہا نا کہ گراس روٹ کی آپ کی موجودگی میں مشین ریڈیبل پانسپورٹ جو ہے وہ لانچ ہوا ہے آپ کی موجودگی میں نادرہ کارڈ جو ہے وہ سات سال کا دس سال کا ہوا ہے آپ کی موجودگی میں نادرہ سرجری کی جب آپ آئے تھے جو ویٹنگ لسٹ تھی وہ چھے مہینے تھی یا پانٹمنٹس نہیں ملتی تھی نادرہ سیکشن ورک ٹونٹی فور سیون راؤنڈ دا کلوک تو ریڈیوز دیٹ لسٹ دا تائم تو ون ڈے اپانٹمنٹ یہ سب کچھ یہ آپ کی موجودگی میں ہوا ہے you were so approachable ابن عباس صاحب you have been a great asset of Pakistan and we really really appreciate your services you've been here 3-4 years and I from bottom of my heart I really feel up and down the country you have won the hearts of people and the work you have done It's tremendous work, and the cooperation is unbelievable. You have opened the doors for everybody. I mean, look at the Eid events. People from all walks of life, they all come to your house for Eid event. I really, really, you have touched the community hard. 
and we really appreciate that. Can we have standing up? Uh, can we have, can we have everybody stand up and uh, give a round of applause for uh, Ibn Basab? Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. The community appreciates what you've done, and you are leaving a legacy. It's going to be very hard for somebody else to fill this legacy. And uh, once again, I don't, I don't want to say, obviously people, we want to listen to you now, sir. And once again, I'm really, really grateful the cooperation you especially done for us, for the family, for Nadim. When Nadim wasn't well, Ibn Basa was ringing us every day for Nadim, finding out how he was. Sir, that really touched our heart. But you are an excellent and great man. We really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Actually, you mentioned Nadim Bai. I'll be also inviting uh, Consul Lagathili as well uh, to express his emotions because we cannot actually forget him at this particular juncture. Thank you very much. So, Shah Saab, I'm, I'm really grateful to you as well. The first day when you launched W Corp, you came to me. You said, Joey Saab, join this. I said to you, my support is always with you. And it's a fact, my support is always with you. So I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Lagat Bhai, we cannot forget you. Uh, actually, we'll be extending it to you before we reach to the pinnacle. Thank you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, His Excellency Sayyid Ibn Abbas, uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum to all of you. Uh, it's great occasion, uh, sad but great occasion here, and really want to thank you from the bottom of our heart for all the services that you've given as a High Commissioner, Ambassador of Pakistan, here, uh, especially in United Kingdom, and certainly on behalf of all of the community of the United Kingdom, you have certainly opened all the doors to the High Commission itself. So I'm not going to write or uh, read, I'm not going to read out the CV again. But once again, His Excellency is one of the most prominent and the most senior officers of our Foreign Service of Pakistan. And you already heard people express their emotions. He has served in New Zealand as, as the High Commissioner before being appointed over here. So I will not say anything else. I think while, while we invite him, while we invite him and we need full attention, we owe him a standing ovation when he comes to the stage. In your big round of applause, His Excellency Sayyid Ibn Abbas. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. It looks like as if I'm being welcomed. I'm not going anywhere to me. You know, the way you are showing the warmth, I, I think I'm not going anywhere. So I think the way you're presenting your flowers and feelings, looks like I'm not going. I'm being welcomed here. Uh, let me begin by th thanking uh, uh, Dr. Chokhtai because, uh, because of his TV epics. I think I never realized that I am all right on the big screen. So. <laughs> The, way, the clips he has shown today, they are, I think, uh, made me, you know, feel that as if I look good on the screen. Thank you very much. <laughs> also, I would, uh, since I'm talking about you, I'd like to thank Huma for being so thoughtful and sending, her the, uh, sending the card you read out here. Please thank her and tell her that we'll treasure that card and her sentiments will be treasure for us always, inshallah. I wish she would have been here, but if she's not here, but please pass on our best wishes to, for, and uh, our appreciation for her so being so generous. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, believe me, you know, today it was a very hectic day for me and for my wife. We had a packers at our house. This was the second day running. And uh, although I, uh, uh, Zameer Chaudhary Sahib asked me, KG, you had, probably you had no role. I know I had no role, but when the house is upside down, everything is topsy-turvy, you can only sit, watch, and be helpless. And that's what I was doing all day, you know, not knowing where is my, you know, where is my privacy, where is the bedroom, 
But coming here was an excellent um, break from that uh, stressful time. But let me share something with you. With that stressful time, has its, has taken its toll already. All those who don't know probably would know, but let me share that secret. Because when I was, you know, getting ready and you know I was panicking that we are getting late, I didn't realize that I wore two different cufflinks. <laughs> <laughs> so, when I realized in the car, so my wife said, we can't help, maybe it's a fashion, so we will go along with it. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, first of all, I cannot thank enough WCOP and, his, uh, and the chairman, uh, Sayyid Kamaraz Asha Sam, for his support the three and a half years I have been here. Of course, his and his team, of course, Arif Malik and all others, Alia and all others, the board members, they have been a great support. And I think we have clicked and the common denominator for us was Pakistan. They wanted to promote Pakistan. We are here to serve Pakistan. And I think that's what brought us together. And as, as uh, Tariq Dar Saab was saying, you know, or Shokat Saab was saying, that they have been providing an excellent uh, forum, which I agree and I agree, uh, endorse, because you know they have always been doing things which promote Pakistan. And I think we clicked because we are also focusing, High Commission is also focusing on the youth, so were they, and uh, not only youth, but they are also working for the women empowerment, which is also very dear to my heart, and I think that's what brought us together. They have been always doing wonderful events. I attended the event which was uh, not, uh, which was attended by none other than the Prime Minister herself. And then she was the Home Secretary. And, you know, I have attended in this very hall an event where Sajid Javed, the Home Secretary, was here, and so many other. And, of course, uh, Kamar Saab mentioned about, uh, you know, the Sanders, excellent events they have been holding. So I think what is the common denominator between them and us is that we want to promote Pakistan and want to portray Pakistan in its correct perspective. So I think thank you very much, Kamar Bhai, and thank you for the team for being so wonderful. <laughs> I cannot um, remiss, I cannot be uh, 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 missing out of a person who I think Although we have been friends for the three and a half years, but I think we have been uh, known to each other since ages. He has been my role model. He has been our leader. And uh, he has been a great source of inspiration. And it's none other than Dr. Sajad Kareem. Because of him, Pakistan <laughs> got... <laughs> we are grateful to Dr. Sajad Kareem for his role in getting Pakistan the GSP plus status from the European Union. Uh, Sajad Bhai, you were always a leader. You will remain a leader. I wish I could be as articulate as you are and as uh, you know, well-meaning as you are because you have been always great support for Pakistan. We are very grateful to you. Thank you so very much. Uh, Welsh Assembly member Asghar Saab, whom I just learned that is also known as Oscar, well, uh, well, I am grateful to you for your kind words also. Believe me, I love your, your region so much. If you would have invited me 20 times, I would have come. Well, uh, Wales is so beautiful, but it's my it's pity that I could only come once and enjoy your hospitality. But inshallah, there will be other opportunities. And keep up the good work you are doing, and it will be an absolute delight to have worked with you. The managing director of Best Way Group, I don't know if it was the Best Way was not there, what we would have done. Uh, you know, it was the personal intervention of Zameer Chaudhary Saab that you were, we were able to put these London buses on the roads. And I must say that not only these London buses, many other things which we have been able to do. It's all <laughs> Uh, of course, I'm, I'll be remiss if I do not mention the London buses. Then, when we unveiled the Kayed's burst at the Lincoln's Inn, Sir Anwar was so very kind to have announced one scholarship for a, for a Pakistani student 
to come and study at Lincoln's Inn. So I think these are small things, but very important. Joyce, thank you very much for your friendship, for your uh, patronage, and your support always. We are uh, grateful to you and to the Best Way Group. Please pass on our thanks to Sir Anwar Parvez, because with his support and your support, probably we would have not been able to achieve what we have done. Uh, let me also thank Judith. Judith, you are doing a wonderful job. I know Rotarians have been very close to my heart, though we have not been in touch here as a Rotarian, but as, as, as a uh, you know, person who has been working very hard to eradicate polio. So I think, uh, thank you to you, to the organization, for doing that great service to the humanity, because I'm sure, inshallah, God willing, as we say always, that we are nearly there. So I think keep up the good work, excellent. God bless you, keep up the good work. Thank you very much. <laughs> Colonel, Colonel Andy, I always <laughs> We'll treasure our friendship because you have been a great uh, supporter, friend. And I must say that you know, the card you brought me is more, in, more than enough, but you added on a beautiful pink tie, which I will treasure and wear with uh, you know, pride. Thank you very much uh, for your help and support. And it has been wonderful that you have been always supportive. Uh, I must say that uh, the, the Ali brothers, you know, Shokat Ali Saab and Liaqat Ali Saab, uh, while they have been a great friends Walt from Walthamstow, I, I think it's not an occasion, but I would still think because the passing away of Nadim was, believe me, a personal tragedy. But I think they have acted very, uh, with great um, strength to overcome that, but that's a major loss. Nobody can, I think words cannot uh, make up for that, but I think they, they know because what they have gone through. God bless his soul, inshallah. He will be in heavens, but you have been wonderful friends. And Tariq Dar Saab, you have been always a great community leader. You have been always very supportive. I know whenever you have contacted me, you have contacted me for the community, nothing else. And I think we have been uh, working together. And I think we have been able to bring somewhat uh, change, but I think still a long way to go. But inshallah, you keep uh, the good work going. And in days ahead, it will be wonderful. So last but not least, I think uh, the recently uh, Her Majesty the Queen has uh, nominated a person who is here right in front of me uh, as the Lieutenant Commander of the Na Royal Navy Reserve Force. So this is Durdana Insari, who will be, I think, coming soon to the stage also to, you know, um, sing us the melodious songs which we are all looking forward. But I think I must congratulate you for you know, this great honor because you are the first ever. <laughs> first ever lady uh, to be, no, uh, first ever Muslim woman to be nominated for this post. I think this is a great honor. And I was, she was telling me on 19th of this month, we are uh, you know, hosting a ship from Pakistan Navy at the Plymouth, and there she will be coming in her uniform first time ever. She just told me. So I think that's a win-win situation for you, for us, because you will be coming there in your uniform first time ever. So I think this is going to be a wonderful occasion. I look forward to that. So, friends, it was like a blink of an eye. Time has passed three and a half years. But I must commend and I must uh, appreciate the Deputy High Commissioner Zahid Chaudhary, who said that when you do something for people like you, they pay back in several times more. I think he was absolutely spot on. I think I didn't do anything but the warmth, but the love, the affection which you are showing, I think this is uh, humbling, this is overwhelming. But I agree with the, the uh, Dr. Uh, Chokhtai's daughter, Huma, that she considers me family. Believe me, Allah is my witness. I consider you all as our extended family. Yeah. And saying goodbyes is always difficult. But as somebody said, you know, we are departing to meet again, inshallah. And I'm sure our paths will cross. And definitely, 
either here or there. What we did, friends, at the High Commission, we didn't do anything extraordinary because as a custodian, as a caretaker of the High Commission, which belongs to you all, it's not us that we are the owners. You are the owners. We were just being trying to be a caretaker, a custodian, and take care of your property. By opening the house, by opening the High Commission, we didn't do much, but I think that was your right. That was we should, the way we should have done, and we tried to. Friends, as I said, three and a half years have passed. It looks as if yesterday I arrived, and I wish I could, we could have done more, but let me accept and confess and tell you very honestly, I would have not been able to do a thing you know, what you saw here on the screen, this is just a 50% of what we were able to do last year. But I have not been able to do all this had I had not an excellent team at the High Commission. So if you could please put your hand together. <laughs> My colleagues at the High Commission were a great source of strength for me and I think we worked as a team and we all gelled and I think the results are in front of you, but inshallah, I'm sure in the days ahead, the, you know, the, the good work which we try to do will continue and uh, you will be work, you know, we will be working with you uh, in sync with the community because I was talking to uh, friends from media and must say that I also like to acknowledge the presence of our friends from media because I always thought, Main ko kehta harawal dasta hai hamara. So I always think that they are our standard bearers. The media has been a great source of strength, great source of support for me personally and the High Commission because they have been very supportive and I must thank them all. And I think they have been a wonderful support and friends. And inshallah, I think in the days ahead, they will be doing the great service which they have been doing. But I was telling them, you know, before I walked in that uh, without you, you all, we are just nothing. Because when we work, when we walk with our head high in the parliamentary galleries or parliament or in the foreign office or wherever, it's your strength. It's your strength which gives us that confidence. Without your strength, probably we would not be what we are. So I think I must thank you, the, you people, the British Pakistanis, who have done wonders who have been great support, who have, whenever we have needed you, you have come forward. Whenever the country of your origin, of course this is your adopted homeland, whenever your country of your origin has asked for it, you have stepped forward. You have opened your hearts, you have opened your wallets, be it floods, be it earthquakes, or be it any other uh, calamity, you have never shied away. So I am here basically to thank you all for the wonderful uh, support you have been providing to the country of your origin. Keep the good work going. But inshallah, I think we also have some responsibility and that is that we should also try to make you proud and that's what we try. And many times if we try hard but we fail, but I'm sure that we will continue doing that. Uh, as I mentioned that you know something common between w corp and us is that we are trying to focus on um, the youth and the women empowerment which they are also so i must say that gabriella was very smart when she met me in oxford she never mentioned that she can speak or understand urdu so gabriella well done you did very good job by you know saying whatever you said in urdu <laughs> wonderful thank you very much so I hope I didn't say anything, you know, which annoyed you at that time because I didn't realize that you speak Urdu. Although Malala was also there and we were all talking sometime in Urdu, but anyway, thank you very much. Uh, I think it was probably because of Momin who came in and talked here that we won the, 20, uh, the last year's Champions Trophy. If he was not there bucking up the Pakistani team, probably we would have not done as well. Momin, thank you very much for being such a supportive and making us proud by being the, you know, 
breaking the, that glass ceiling by becoming the president of the King's College. Wonderful, proud of you, great job. I think your sister Minahel and you will be really wonderful uh, kids. She's at Oxford, very active, and you are at the King's. Great job, well done. Ladies and gentlemen, now my inning is coming to an end. But the great relationship between our two countries, inshallah, will continue and will go from strength to strength. I am humbled by just sharing with you that I received a letter from the Prime Minister, Honorable, Right Honorable Prime Minister Theresa May yesterday, in which she has been very generous, she has been very kind to acknowledge the work I, I, we were able to do here during my tenure, and I'm really grateful to her, and I think she has shown that promise that, you know, between, the, 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 between our two countries. So I'm sure, inshallah, we will continue building upon that. Not only the Prime Minister has written to me, the Mayor of London has also written to me to thank the High Commission and uh, the cooperation between the City of London. So I think good work should continue. We have to continue doing what we are doing. At the moment, country is going through a uh, uh, democratic transition. It's a, it's, a, it's a time which uh, we all are looking anxiously because I think uh, everybody has their own choices. But ultimately, democracy is the best way to go forward. And inshallah, we are looking forward that democratic process will be completed very soon. The, gov the new government will be formed very soon and things will move on because we have seen for the last few months, you know, things are, have slowed down because of this, the process which we are going through. But I am hope, hoping and inshallah praying that after we are done with the next two to three weeks, we will have a new government in office and things will be moving on a very fast pace because we as a developing country, as a country which has so much to do to look after such a big population of people, cannot afford to waste time. So I'm sh looking forward, like all of you, that inshallah in the days ahead, we will be m having a smooth transition and we will move on. Friends, I do not want to make long speech, although I have already made a long speech, but in the end I will say that saying goodbyes is very difficult. I'm not saying goodbyes because I'm sure we will inshallah meet again, our paths will cross either here or there. But one thing I would like to say that please, for the national causes, stay united as you are today. I see people representing from various political parties, from various walks of life, from various uh, interest groups are together under one roof for Pakistan. So for Pakistan, please continue showing the um, um, unity and I think wherever you have shown unity, that has provided great dividends. Be it members of, you know, you have a 12 members of parliament, you have more than 350 councillors, and you have uh, Sir Anwar Parbez, a you know, role model, and so many others I do not want to name. When they have put their head down, when they have said, we want to achieve something, you have achieved. And today, alhamdulillah, there's no glass ceiling. Please remember my words. All those who can believe in self-pity, there is no glass ceiling in this country. After the Prime Minister of UK, the two most important positions in this country, be it the Home Secretary or be it the Mayor of London, are held by people of Pakistan heritage. So, please remain united for the national causes, be it Kashmir, be it Pakistan. Stay united, and when you will be united, you will get counted, and you will make the difference. Because you and us, together, will lobby for the national causes, and inshallah, I'm sure, we will bring that change. So before I conclude, I would like to say that Dr. Uh, 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 Javed Sheikh Saab is also here. Cup, day after tomorrow, we are having an international conference on Allama Iqbal at the High Commission. This is, of, I think, one of the very rare opportunities 
all those who love Iqbal, the, uh, the, uh, the poet philosopher, the person who came up with the idea of Pakistan, we are having, holding an international conference at the High Commission, it's a day long, so all those who are interested, I don't know, I think uh, the registration is already closed, uh, probably, but follow that up, that will be very important because all the papers will be, which will be read out there, we will probably publish them, and that would be a good for all those who want to follow Iqbal. Once again, I want to thank uh, uh, Kamar Saab, his uh, team, all Bhabi, everybody, for giving us this honor, me and my wife, um, and I think we are not going anywhere because we will be in your hearts and you will be in our hearts. Thank you very much, Pakistan, Pindabad. Your Excellency.